Madam Chair, members of this assembly, my name is Deborah Bronson, B-R-O-N-S-O-N. As a mother of two, I have occasion to be convinced of a good many things. As a citizen of Anchorage, I feel that as though I am being convinced that this ordinance is good for my city, myself, and my children. I have a few questions. Why is such an important ordinance seemingly pushed through as quickly as this? Does the speed mean that there is something in this ordinance that the citizens of Anchorage would not approve of if they were given time to really figure out what it contains? Apparently, a city attorney had told you there was no real cost associated with this ordinance, but does that really make sense? Can you really logically believe that an ordinance such as this would not greatly increase costs due to an increase in many court cases? Do you believe that your children, when they tell you of a great new something that is free, I am also curious as to why some members of this assembly who have claimed to be conservative seem to be so willing to vote for such an obviously liberal ordinance without a fight. Indeed, they are acting, working with others to force this onto our city. This does not make sense to me, a voting citizen of Anchorage, and I would be very ready to vote against these hidden liberals who do not mirror the morals of the majority of our city. I am sorry to say, but any time the ACLU has their fingers in things, I automatically wonder what they're up to. As has been brought up previously, I also wonder what sort of discrimination individuals have documented in our city. I have heard of discrimination last week in other cities and states. I have heard some from the city of Anchorage here. I would like to make sure that those are documented. I am concerned with what this ordinance will do to the various organizations in our city which are founded on their religious beliefs. What will happen to the Catholic, Mormon, other private adoption agencies, religious schools, and the many or the other institutions and businesses which are owned and operated by the individuals with deep convictions on this issue? There is no way for you to assure me that they will be able to continue to do the good they have done in the past. This will certainly not benefit me, my children, nor my community. Last Tuesday, as you were assuring us, this ordinance would not allow men dressed in drag into the restrooms. Two men in drag entered the women's restroom right outside the chamber where two teenage girls were. As a mother of a teenage girl, I am appalled that you are putting my daughter into this kind of jeopardy. Based on this, no amount of your assurances will convince me this ordinance will not harm more than it will help. I believe this is to be a flawed, extremely invasive ordinance. I believe this ordinance would is a direct attack on my First Amendment rights for the freedom of my religion. I am extremely saddened that it is being rushed through under a mayor which was not voted in by the people of our state or of our city. I believe, I believe that the great number of people who have taken time out of their Thank short you. Alaskan summer to come here, and I'll stop.